All right. Welcome back. It's April 16th. This is meeting 11 for the B30 course. And we're going to do a review of Animal Farm. So just touching on things that I have already touched on um, and maybe elaborate on a few things that uh, may have uh, not been mentioned or discussed uh, in detail uh, due to time restraints for YouTube. Um, these videos that have been already filmed uh, or recorded are on the Heskin ELA YouTube channel. So in its entirety and uh, as well on Google, uh, they're located on Google Classroom. So we're gonna go through the whole chapter or sort of the whole novel here and just uh, briefly touch on things that I've highlighted in my book. And uh, as you can see, I've tapped my book off and it's a, that's a nice uh, little trick uh, to keep yourself organized. You can do it for any class, uh, especially um, post-secondary. Uh, if you have little sticky tabs handy, anytime the professor and instructor mentions something of importance uh, or you deem important based on um, the type of assignments uh, the instructor gives, uh, you kind of know where their line of thinking is. Um, it's good to tab it off so you know that this could be on the exam um, the, and uh, you can just prepare and you can pre pretty much study just from this alone uh, if you do it as you go. So I've talked about that before in class. I, I encourage you to incorporate some kind of uh, organization like this uh, so that you're not cramming at the last second. I know some people thrive on cramming, but uh, in post-secondary, um, you will, it's a different ball game uh, and uh, you are more accountable for yourself. And uh, so th there'll be less checking up on you to s see whether or not you have your assignments done, that kind of thing. Um, and if, if you're fortunate to have an instructor that checks up on you, um, but due to numbers and size of, and complexities of the classroom uh, or the classes that uh, that instructor has, you probably won't be seeing too much of the instructor uh, during the course unless you set up office hours uh, or appointments with them. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So a lot of in independent work on your behalf uh, in post-secondary. So this uh, shutdown uh, due to the uh, pandemic is uh, a very good opportunity for you because you are going to be taking more uh, initiative uh, and uh, on your own and uh, you're, it'll be up to you whether you choose to do certain assignments or whatever the case and um, uh, utilize uh, and maintain the skills that you have so that the transition is a lot smoother. So um, there's your uh, tips for the future uh, for today anyways. So um, chapter one, we talked about Mr. Jones. We, we know that he's not a very good person and he doesn't manage the farm very well. And uh, so the animals are paying the price uh, due to his uh, inept uh, handling of the farm. And uh, so then Old Major speaks to everybody uh, once he, he goes to speak or sleep, sorry. And he talks about the plight of animal life on page three. And then he talks about their enemy and their enemy is man. And uh, so uh, that's the only an enemy that animals have is man. So that sets the tone for the novel that we know that there's a rebellion coming in. And he talks about a dream that he had that the rebellion, uh, there will be a revolution and the animals will uh, be victorious in the end. Um, so very similar to the French Revolution in regards to that uh, reference. Um, even Old Major, uh, warns the uh, boxer, the powerhouse uh, horse on the farm, that uh, eventually his, you know, his muscles will give way, um, and uh, he won't have the strength that he used to have. Um, what what what's going to happen to him? Uh, who's going to take care of him? That kind of thing. So we had some foreshadowing back in chapter uh, one that led to uh, boxer's demise in chapter nine. Um, he, Old Major also talks about warning, uh, talks about a warning. If you don't support each other, 
then bad things are going to happen. Uh, so uh, just like this pandemic here, uh, we're in this all together. So the same thing on Animal Farm, we're in this all together. So no matter what goes on in, in the uh, on the farm while Jones is in charge, whenever this revolution happens, we are in this together. Uh, maxim number one, all men are enemies, all animals are comrades. That's on page six. Um, we talk about uh, the commandments, that's uh, the um, more lengthy version of the commandments by Old Major on page six. And we have the Beasts of England um, on page seven. I sung that one. <laughs> and it became the national anthem for the revolution and uh, survived until uh, Squealer had Minimus create a brand new one um, with the Friend of the Fatherless uh, anthem that I sung uh, in chapter eight. And fortunately there, there was a lot of noise happening in the farm and old uh, Major is, uh, tragically uh, shot and killed. Um, he dies three days later in chapter two. And uh, of course, there's no mention of how that was that occurred, but we, we just find out that old major had perished um, from that, from that uh, night. So Snowball and Napoleon take over. And uh, so we get a description of that in uh, page nine. Animalism is born in chapter two. And we talk about animal heaven as well, Moses, Raven. Uh, I didn't talk about that at all during the chapter summaries, uh, but uh, there's Sugar Candy Mountain as a form of animal heaven of, of that hope. Uh, I did talk about the hope factor, so there is that. Uh, never give never give up hope, but uh, how much hope do you give up uh, in order to have freedom, uh, or is hope better than freedom? Uh, a lot of some a few more questions on on uh, the price of freedom and uh, maybe the perception of freedom uh, we have the other animals are followers they uh, they blindly follow the the other le leaders on the on the farm they don't question anything and uh, so if you don't question anything you don't value you, you don't validate it you don't find uh, any um, uh, you don't verify things to, to ensure that this is the right path to take because um, you are just blind, blindly following them. And um, we have a revolution that occurs in chapter two. Mr. Jones is expelled uh, from the farm and the farm is now renamed uh, uh, Animal Farm from Manor Farm. And it's a short-lived victory. Uh, but the animals that toil the land and do all the work, for them, it's, it's a very long-term victory. Um, but uh, for the pigs that are in charge, it's short-lived because they have other plans uh, that they want to, uh, um, uh, for themselves anyways, and for the farm. Uh, they do come to agreement that all animals will stay out of the house, they'll keep it as a museum. But we, know, of course, know that that was not the case. On page 15, we have the Seven Commandments, and uh, so uh, talked about that in great detail. And we also find out at the end of chapter two that the milk and the apples have disappeared. Who took them? And uh, we do find out about that later on. So I'm going to stop it there for, for part one, and we'll carry on to part two. Take care and be safe.